In this episode of Off the Cuff, we're going to get nuts. Peanuts, that is. Hit it. Welcome, everybody. Yep, today it's all about peanuts. I love peanuts. I love it in food. I love it in desserts. I love it in candy bars. I love it in ice cream. I, I just love peanuts. Peanut butter. It's all good. So today, we're going to take a walk down the sweet side. Sweet Street, if you will, with peanuts. That's right. I have two really easy, super tasty, sweet, sugar-free desserts or snacks that you're going to love. First up is going to be a no-bake chocolate-covered peanut butter bar. It's keto-friendly and low-carb. You're going to love it. The second is actually my mom's favorite, low-carb, sugar-free peanut brittle. I've actually been thinking about peanuts all week, and you know what popped into my mind? Peanuts, the comic strip, you know, Lucy Schroeder, all those guys. They've been around since 1950. I mean, that means they're older than I am. And we've only, only saw them as kids. So, um, I started to wonder, what would those characters be like if they were mature adults? Hmm. Hi there. I'm Charles Brown. Perhaps you know me by Charlie Brown, or good old Charlie Brown. Did you have a terrible childhood? I sure did. First off, I was bald till I was 27 years old. In school, I was teased so much, I actually thought my name was Blockhead. And on Halloween, my candy bag was always filled with rocks. Who would give a little kid rocks in Halloween? I used to spend five cents for psychiatric help, and guess what I got? Chronic back pain. Yep, because my psychiatrist would pull that football away from me every single time, and I go flying and kill myself. Even my dog is more popular than I am. He flew 200 missions in Iraq. He teaches a Top Gun now. And my best friend, Linus? I haven't seen him in years, since he made billions selling insurance. Who knew there was that much money in blanket coverages? If this sounds like you, do what I did. Call the law offices of Van Pelt and Schultz. They'll fight to get you retribution for your bad childhood. Whether you're ridiculed for bringing home an ugly Christmas tree for the pageant, or if your clothes get ripped off you on a line drive through the pitcher's mound, Van Pelt and Schultz will fight for you. They'll make sure there's a valentine from that little red-haired girl in your mailbox every single year. Call Van Pelt and Schultz today. Any questions? Yes. Good grief. Now for the ingredients for our low-carb peanut butter bars. First up, the bars. Three quarters of a cup melted butter. Three quarters of a cup melted peanut butter. One half cup confectionery or powdered swerve. Two cups peanut flour. One teaspoon vanilla extract. One quarter teaspoon salt. And for the chocolate glaze, three ounces sugar-free chocolate and two ounces melted butter. Now for the peanut brittle. One cup roasted salted peanuts. 4 ounces butter, 3 or 4 ounces swerve, and 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. Okay, it's no bake, but we have to do some melting. We're going to melt the butter, and we're going to melt the peanut butter. Let's do the butter first. Probably about a minute and a half, two minutes in the microwave. Actually, it was a minute. So the butter is melted. Now for the peanut butter. Let's assemble our ingredients. They come together pretty quick. Okay, so here we go. Here is our station. We take the peanut flour. This is the swerve, the powdered swerve. I'm going to put in the salt, all the dry ingredients first. Uh, there goes the vanilla, the melted butter. And the melted peanut butter. Now, simply put, we're going to mix this and work it till it becomes a dough or a batter. Well, it's already a batter. Hey, batter, batter. Swing batter. As we're doing this, I think I'm going to put in about an eighth of a cup more. Let's go a little bit at a time. So let's try that much. Just so I can get it a little tightened up. 
when it starts to get hard to do this, then you know you're done. Guess what? I'm just about done. Now we put it in the pan. Okay, now we have this ready to go. Line, line your uh, pan. I guess this is an eight by eight pan with parchment paper. And now, plop this on in here. It should plop pretty nice. Let's see. Yep, that was a most satisfying plop. Take your hands. It's sticky, but you can get away with this. And just flatten this out so it's spread evenly over the bottom of the pan. I saw this tip online. Take some more parchment paper and put it over the top. Take anything that has a flat bottom. In this case, my 19, excuse me, my 2009 Star Trek movie glass, Captain Kirk, and do this. Now, I'm pretty sure they sell stuff that will do this specifically, but hey, you gotta go with Captain Kirk. Let's take this off and look. Oh, yeah. And there we are. Now let's put this aside while we melt the chocolate to put on top. We have the three ounces of chocolate, the two ounces of butter in this, and I'm putting it in the air fryer. Air fryer, you say? Yes, I'm gonna melt it in the air fryer. So basically we do this for six minutes at 400 degrees. That signals it is done. It has been six minutes and there you go. Now for the fun part. Take our newly melted chocolate, pour it on the top. I'm gonna do it all. I'm gonna spread it nice and evenly. I think I can do this. I think I need a smaller implement. Yeah, that makes it easier. Okay. There you have it. Now we put this in the refrigerator for one hour and then we can feast. So the first thing I did is I took one cup of peanuts, put it on a, on a, on a baking pan with, with parchment paper and they don't have to be super spread out. As a matter of fact, it works better if you keep them closer together, but you want to have some spaces for that wonderful, wonderful sweetness to pour in when you're done. That's about right. First, you put in your four ounces of butter. By the way, it's a quarter stick. I'm sure you knew that. I let this melt. You don't want it to burn. You just want it to melt. So I have it on high first. Now I'm bringing it down. It's just about done. All right, let's pour in our sugar. Well, it's not sugar. This is Swerve sugar substitute. I moved it up to high. And what's going to happen is it's going to foam a little bit. Then I'm gonna take it off the heat while it's still stir, and then put it back on. And that's what you do at the end of this to make it get all together real nice. Okay, it's starting to smoke a little bit, so I'm gonna take it off the heat and stir. It's starting, just starting to be a little yellowish brown. So we're getting there. There's a the vanilla. It does bubble. Yep, that's good. That's very good. That means it's the right temperature. All right. Now we're ready to put in our peanuts and make the brittle. This is the fun part. Well, all this is fun, really. You want to make sure you pour this nice and evenly all through your peanuts here. Make sure you get it all. Let this sit for 45 to 50 minutes and you have peanut brittle. So when I say peanuts, I mean peanuts. Choosy mothers, choose this. Yes, it's 
peanuts galore. I made these low-carb, keto-friendly peanut bars covered with chocolate mwah, and low-carb, sugar-free peanut brittle and uh, came out way above my expectations. I have tasted the peanut brittle, so I'm going to taste the peanut butter bars first. Yeah, try saying that five times fast. This takes about 20 minutes, but you have to wait an hour to 40, 45 minutes to an hour in the fridge for it to firm up. That's the hardest thing about it. As, as, and basically the same with the brittle. You saw how easy it was to make, you just gotta wait for it to harden up. So I'm gonna try one of these bars. I cannot wait. It was so tempting, but I didn't do it. I'm gonna do it now. Here we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> it looks so yummy. Look at that. Here we go. Mm. Oh, the peanut flavor explodes in your mouth. It's salty, it's creamy, it's sweet. The chocolate is there, not overpowering, but it's sweet and it's luscious. Oh, this is decadent. Now, for this brittle recipe, just so you know, I upped the sugar content because I like it sweet. You can lower it or raise it depending on what you like. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Melts in your mouth. The perfect mixture of that creamy, sweet caramel, and the salty, crunchy peanuts. Just what you would expect. And I guarantee with both of these items, share them with a friend. They will not know this is sugar-free. I guarantee it. That's it for this time around. We're here again in two weeks after this show debuts with another recipe. Until then, be well. Eat good.